Okay, here we go. You all ready? Hello once again. It is time for the weekly flags recap. I'm Agent of Doubt, and to begin, I do not endorse anyone that I talk about in these videos unless I explicitly say so. And please stop flagging each other when you can just make a video explaining your differences and call the other person a jerk. Okay, so updates. Uh, where's the fair use? Hashtag WTFU is still a strong trending thing here on YouTube. Um, look it up and if you want to see more people talk about that issue. Hashtag what would you flag is something that I started uh, this week and I've gotten five responses. I'll link them below. Um, I'm not surprised that I haven't gotten more because it's kind of a touchy subject because a lot of YouTubers feel that people only ask them questions in like a gotcha manner. They're trying to hold their feet to the fire later with those answers to those questions. So they're not going to want to answer this very simple question of what would you flag because they don't want it to come back to bite them. Because it's scary. Uh... I missed a flag on Gluteus Illuminatus last week, and that was uh, that, that was my bad. Uh, I had seen it before, um, and he used to run this show. This, this used to be the weekly Gluteus Illuminatus recap, and so I, I feel bad for him on that one, so link below on that. And also, two weeks ago, I missed a flag from Dr. Randomer Cam. Um, that I had also seen before I made my show. Uh, these were not caught by my aggregators because they didn't use words like flagged or copyright or DMCA in their titles or descriptions or tags. So that's why I missed them. I'm not perfect here, people. Please, if you see a flag, let me know um, if you want it in this recap. Uh, Jenny McDermott is still getting more videos condemning her this week than anyone else in this recap, but uh, nothing happened to her this past week, I don't think. Um, casting call for more picks for the beginning of this show. Um, if you want your pictures in there, tweet them to me. Uh, Sergey Basiljek appealed his copyright strike and then went on to a rant about how he's still being persecuted as a Christian. And Marco One Piece Theorist got his copyright strike removed, which is awesome. In the news, uh, Twitter made their Trust and Safety Council, and uh, many people think that this is an Orwellian nightmare because they decided to let mostly social justice warriors be in control of what speech should be allowed on Twitter. Awesome. Link to an uh, article about that. Uh, YouTube has uh, a protester outside their LA YouTube space protesting for, uh, well, in favor of fair use. And it's following the whole uh, hashtag WTFU thing. And I guess he's trying to start his uh, one-man occupation across the street from them. <sighs> On to the recap. Um, in the gaming community, we had uh, Morgan Games, Master Yi AQW, um, Trey... Bleh, Obey Trisdo, uh, Abiyomi Robinson... Felgarot Warrior 07, Dirilli and the Blue Doctor all showing off their flags, and Frehua talked about uh, uh, his DSP gaming and copyright claims, and it was a very interesting video. Um, in the great debate community, we have uh, Colonel Casper UK, 
who removed 106 videos off of his channel because they had copyright claims on them. And probably none of them were uh, real. Kind of highlighting the whole problem with YouTube's copyright content ID claiming system and bots and whatnot. In the Red FMRA community, we had Milo Yiannopoulos was stripped of his verified Twitter status because uh, a lot of his posts weren't being flagged down by any other way, so the feminists decided to flag him in strange ways and say that he wasn't himself. So uh, he got enough of those kind of flags um, saying that he was a false person to remove his verified Twitter status, which is something that is controlled by a PR exec, normally, who checks out people personally, like calls them up and says, is this you? You know, and, and meets with people personally. So for somebody to lose their verified Twitter status, that that is a concerted effort amongst the flaggers to make that happen. Um, Robert Stacy McCain was banned from Twitter, and... Uh, Anyone using the hashtag Free Stacy was receiving shadow bans and having their content suppressed on uh, Twitter, and this might have something to do with the fact that Anita Sarkeesian was put on the Trust and Safety Committee, uh, which is, you know, just a tragedy for free speech. And there's many people that are going to talk about this in the future as more things happen like this. Um, Dirty Hippie Panda was censored on Twitter for a while. Same kind of reasons. Um, Cuckwatch got a copyright claim here on YouTube from Joe Rogan, the comedian. And it was for a clip where Joe Rogan is nowhere in it, and it was from a show that is not owned by Joe Rogan. So, yeah, I don't feel too good about his chances on keeping that video down. In the racial commentary community, we have Flag of the Week. And if all of that other drama wasn't big enough for you, um, this drama is very akin to uh, the drama about Laughing Witch having uh, a GoFundMe campaign and being found to have debts that were pre-existing to what she was saying the money f from the campaign was for. This is Tanya TKO, and she had her GoFundMe flagged down, and it wasn't flagged down until she had uh, 9000 or so dollars in uh, campaign funds uh, given to that campaign. Um, there are many videos about this, but uh, Mind Out of Seek has gotten flagged on YouTube because of the, the resulting drama. Uh, Javin Bullets on his third channel says Tanya TKO flagged some of his videos, but on his second channel said he was flagged on Facebook as having a false Facebook account. Uh, Stupidity Exodus got a privacy complaint from Tanya TKO, and Tom, Tommy Sotomayor made a video about Tanya TKO flagging him down for pointing this, this stuff out. And I would say if you want, really want to recap on why they are flagging each other left and right, it's the Stupidity Exodus and Tommy Sotomayor videos that explain a lot of what's happening there. Um, and exposing Tanya TKO for being wanted in New York and uh, how much money it would take to get a place to live for a while and she's still homeless right now even though she did raise nine thousand dollars before the gofundme went down um, all sorts of drama with that like just dripping with drama if you're in love with drama go to the racial commentary community right now and uh, follow all the links below uh, team four star went down on February 23rd. They had their channel terminated, and then it was back up again on the 24th um, because their appeals went through. And a whole bunch of people made videos supporting them. Uh, I Hate Everything is suffering from content ID abuse. Uh, Damn Daniel got flagged a couple times, but has put out some flags and copyright claims that you saw in the gaming community. Uh... 
Golden LPS was flagged for a video where she was playing with My Little Pet Shop toys. Um, strangest thing I, I think people have gotten flagged for this week. Uh, Riot Ralph got a flag from Orchard Music for playing his own music and them falsely giving him a content claim on that. Uh, Mr. McBride's Network 1998 got flagged again. We're not even going to go there. Um, J-Dog got flagged for bullying and right out the gate just made a video calling people bitch, 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 bitch. Headbanger142 got flagged because of a video about hashtag WTFU. Uh, Dick Writing Association Revived got flagged, and that was re uh, revolving around some anime. Confused Weebo got flagged. Trumpadonna KFC got flagged. Geek Remix got flagged. Uh, Keith Appleton got a fraudulent music claim. Uh, Rarity Dash got a copyright claim for My Little Pony Clips. Um, and... I think this is more in the reaction video style, where, like, the whole clip of something is being played, and then you're making a larger reaction video, like the uh, Fine Brothers My React stuff, but uh, more like... It was it was probably uh, Toei that flagged Rarity Dash. Uh, Alex Side got flagged, and Tormental got a false DMCA. And that's all I got this week. Um, Flag Watch. Tommy Sotomayor's fanboys are on a roll taking down uh, Tanya TKO's stuff. Uh, grade A under A's. Uh, examples of what is wrong on YouTube from his very popular videos that are blowing up with millions of views. Um, the examples are getting flagged down. If you were to go try to find all of his examples of porn and, and whatnot... Um, Reaction videos to Dragon Ball Z abridged are probably next. After Four Star gets you know t taken down so many times and, and put back up, um, I'm thinking that reaction videos where they put just the, the the episode and people are watching, but you're supposed to see the reaction and s somehow that's transformative enough um, to them. Those are probably going to be under fire. And for my random shout out this week. Um, I remember back in the day when uh, Hulk Hogan and Macho Man Randy Savage made a tag team uh, called the Mega Powers. And, and in this clip that I'm going to give you guys, somebody is saying that be during a certain speech by uh, Macho Man Randy Savage on the Brother Love Show, which was a segment on then WWF programming... Um, during that segment, he was predicting what was going to happen to the uh, Twin Towers in the 9-11 um, attack. And that was, you know, a decade or two before that happened in New York on, on September 11th, 2001. And there was a tag team that was called the Twin Towers. It's the, it, the Twin Towers, as, as just a, a nickname for things, is, is not something that only happened after 9-11. Uh, but these two uh, wrestlers, Earthquake and Typhoon, um, they were called the Twin Towers, and they were the heel tag team to be facing Hulk Hogan and Macho Man Randy Savage, the Mega Powers, and unfortunately, even Mega Powers has a political connotation to it. So, uh, yeah, this channel Jenny Girl thinks that that clip of Macho Man Randy Savage is not talking about a tag team because it's it's taken completely out of context of what they were actually talking about. The tag team of the Twin Towers. She thinks they're talking about. Uh, what's going to happen in New York in the future. Because they're talking about how the Twin Towers are uh, big buildings in New York, and when Hulk Hogan and Macho Man Randy Savage come, that's going to be like a fault line that tears down the middle of their foundations, and they're going to tear them down. And, yeah. Um, no, 
they were just symbols of something big, and they were going to defeat it. And yeah, go down the rabbit hole and and click on that link, and you'll see how I've just plumbed the depths of stupidity with a conspiracy theory from somebody who doesn't apparently know the history of professional wrestling. That's all for the flag recap of the week. Weekly flags recap thing. My brain hurts from talking about that. Um, please stop flagging each other. Goodbye. <laughs>